would personally, and I think you guys will all join me in thanking Sanju and Monica for putting this event together for us so we can all become aware of this perfect event that took place in this beautiful, beautiful Kashmir. This event show you exactly what happened here in Kashmir. It's very close to our heart because we were there. I was there, she was there. Some of the folks are from Kashmir, they were there on that day, what happened. So we want you to see this. This is not a movie. This is the real incidents, what happened over there during that time. And a lot of people don't know it. I'm thankful to all of you. And especially, I want to thank, I want to Gaurav, Gauravji because he has been uh, uh, another one who has been helping me. We are here, experience this movie. At the end, I would like to ask your reactions, how you feel and what you want to say about this movie. Gaurav you want to say anything? Yeah, again, thank you all for coming. This is, I've seen, the, we were part of the screening of the movie when it when it was launched and <coughs> uh, we were the core team who brought Vivekji and everybody. This is a eye opener. I grew up in India. We absolutely did not know reality what was happening and when we saw this, my 19-year-old son started literally crying that is it, this is what happened in India to all the Hindus. So I really want to thank Sanjay to take initiative. Uh, we're there to support. We're doing another release uh, showing for our family. Uh, I want to, we want to sponsor all the children and non-Indian origin people. If you want to have friends, you want to bring over, bring them over. Um, the message is actually going to Vivekji. Vivekji and Pallaviji, we really want to thank you. All of you from, say, clap for Vivekji. Uh, he's done a lot and we wish him well. We all want him, when you see this movie, we want him to have Bharat Ratna. And both Pallaviji and uh, Vivekji, we request Indian government to grant them a uh, request and uh, we, we can do anything to support and really it's an eye opener that they've brought us like what they are, what, what happened in the 30 years ago and we all didn't know about it. And his family has seen uh, what happened and I salute all the Kashmiri Hindu pundits that they have, they have gone through in their life. Yeah, I would like Jai to thank you everyone. I know it was, uh, it takes a village to make the thing happen. I know we just started and we were just telling everybody to come but uh, then we thought, you know what, we're just sponsoring them. And we want this, we want awareness to be spread. Uh, it's been 32 long years. We personally witnessed a lot, like you can come to me, I can narrate the story, but my dad was in the police department. My dad had to jump the wall and hit in our neighbors. There are like many stories personally that happened with me. I was 15 when I left. Um, I was witness to a lot of things. Uh, you can come and talk to me after. So this movie, after 32 years, somebody had the courage to make it. So we really applaud them that they had the guts to come and show it to the world. And uh, we really, really thank them from the bottom of my, our hearts. And right now, we are so, so happy that the whole nation, even not only in India, but everybody's, I have so many of my friends who have come to support me to see what pain we went through. And the best part is we never uh, took to guns or we never took to violence. Our uh, weapon was our pen. We prove to world that with our wisdom, knowledge, with we just move forward, we are where we are right now. And we want we are just spreading the knowledge. And right now we are spreading awareness what happened to us. And I'm really, really thankful to everybody for coming here and sharing our pain. And please, uh, uh, we would like you all to share as much as you can so that everybody is aware that you know there's no side. We were we are not like uh, migrants or we're not like a flock of uh, Siberian wolves that we migrated and we're gonna do a picnic and come back. No, we, it was a genocide. We never got back. Out of <coughs> so that's the key we are spreading. It. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Don't sleep after you watch the movie. Just give us one minute, one more minute.
Please don't leave. We are going to have a, after the movie, we are trying to have a one minute silence for all the people who were killed, all the martyrs of that time. And then probably if anybody wants to have any reaction, we are here for that. Also on a quick note, somebody lost their glasses. It's so sad. Even after they had a fatwa under their name, they still survived. And the right to justice for and the right to justice will happen. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Can we have a minute of silence? Everybody can stand up. Friends, we have, and this time Vivek Raghunavarti ji and Pallavi ji and his team, Anupam ji is one of us, of course, the Kashmiri, and his team, they have done an excellent job. Mm -hmm. We must also thank all of you, and actually, maybe sometime in future, I would actually like to sing this Faz Am Faz says, Jazo Ham Dekhenge. It's actually, it should be reversed. Ham Dekhenge. Ham Kashmiri Dekhenge. Wo din jiska vada hai. The message is very simple. Times don't stay the same. They change. And, and we do believe that times are at the brink of, uh, of, of, of that uh, point that we will, God willing, go back to Kashmir with, uh, with due respect and in the same way, how we were born there, how we were raised there, how we worked as doctors, went to school there, went to Kashmir there. Like, uh, if I talk about me, I have served in Ladakh as a dentist, Pulwama, Kopwara, all those terrorist hotspots. We did not have much of animosity amongst uh, different religions, but then we know what Pakistan did to us and what our, why our politicians from A to Z failed the nation and Kashmiri Hindu community in particular. And that's all I want to say. Thank you so much. You. I have a question. Oh, I was a little bit confused in the narrative because I think everybody is, gets confused. Because we are given, media gives us a different narrative. In the movie, they had one person from the media who was the reporter. And he says, I keep sending the stories and they are never said. And so we all grew up listening to the stories of partition. We grew up uh, listening to what happened in Bombay, in Gujarat, you know, the killings of all the Muslims. And we grew up listening to 84. And me from a Sikh community, a lot of family members were hurt. So genocides happen. And now also when the wave of Whenever religion is used, the, the mixture between politics and religion is a very Coptic mixture. Even at during before partition, the Hindu Sikhs and Muslims were living very happily. They had neighbors, good relations. Like they're saying, you know, even the Kashmiri Pandits were living very comfortably. So what happens that everything can changes? I, can I take that one? Because yes. I've had this question from many of my friends. Right. They told, um, one of them asked me, uh, why didn't, why doesn't anybody know about it? Yes. Why did you guys run? Why didn't, uh, you know, it, it's not out there, as you rightly said. So what happened in 84 with the Sikhs, everybody knows about it. So I had the same, she, one of my friends told me, like, it happened to all of us, but our Hindu neighbors helped us, they used to hide us. First of all, we were minorities, and our, I don't know if, it was portrayed very clear. None of, it was the neighbors, it were the neighbors who were the reporters. Yes. So we had nowhere to even hide. Right. 
So they were the one who were saying, okay, go, he's there now, he's in the drum. And mm. all these are real incidents. Yes. So being like two, three percent, uh, how, what was our percentage? So, okay, if, if uh, there, there is, um, there's always um, analogy to what they're showing to some uh, incidents. So the reporter, it's all politics. So the Congress government was there in part. They never wanted to. If, if you see, there have been so many videos. But Nehru right was now. a pandit. Uh, I will like to I'm so shocked. Shocked. We can talk to it way back, but at that particular time, uh, Rajiv Gandhi was a very good friend of Father uh, 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 I think there's uh, another show right. coming in. They yes. I will want to finish. Yeah, but I will want to finish. We had to run. There was no power of media that time. Media were not reported right now. Now, even if you see this movie has been the most controversial movie, they're not yeah. letting it out because of the government and they, they did not get a platform to advertise. It's just the word of mouth. Right. We are doing it. Yeah. And it's this is the power job. of media yeah. now compared to the power of media. Great then. job done. And we are so thankful to all of you. Then and now, it's yeah. not even now. So if you if so you hear what he's talking in JNU, the, the student, mm -hmm. exactly. So Kashmir. the purpose of showing this movie today is that you all Awareness. go spread the Awareness. word. Yes. Let everybody come and see the facts and figures. That and there is a community fiction. called Kashmiri Pandit. And this is the only community in India there is no casteism. We are all, it's a yeah. flat society. Yeah. And we I want to tell you, just there is only when one Kashmiri pundits were being persecuted, they came to Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Yeah. Yes. And Guru Tegh yes. Bahadur Ji yes. said, yes. when they were being converted, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji said, if you will convert me, first yeah. convert me, then these. Yeah. And he, he was, he was killed. Exactly. And a lot of Sikhs were that. killed. And Guru Tegh Bahadur just called the Hind ki chadar because he protected the yes. Kashmiri people. Actually, our existence and is because, because of Guru Tegh. Uh, and I'll tell you a small thing, uh, best uh, best source of your information should be the book written by late uh, Governor Jagmohan, My Frozen Turbulence. When he came as governor, he took the oath on 20th January 1990. Before that, that was his second term as a governor. He, he would write, inform the central leadership, central government, that something is getting tested. So I was born in California, and growing up, I was always aware that I was from Kashmir, but I never really understood what that symbolized. All my other friends were Indian, but they were from the other most abundant states, like Gujarat or Punjab, so I could never really relate to them on more intense cultural things. So coming here today and seeing the Kashmir files and actually seeing what Kashmir represents and why there's so few of other Kashmiri pundits really makes me proud of my heritage and who I am and I I'm, I'm intent on spreading that word and helping other Kashmiri pundits and other people realize what Kashmir is really about and why we're called the Bhattas, the learned, and why we think that knowledge is power. So did you know about all this? How much did you get it from your parents? So did it stand up to the expectations of what you've heard from your mom and dad, the different stories they have been telling you? Um, this was more like more uh, naked truth for you. So uh, the Kashmir controversy has been passed down to me and I've heard stories about it through my parents. And the only way I've actually had to grasp it was through um, oral representations, only through talking. But when I saw it out visually today on a big screen shared with a room of like a hundred other people who have also seen and witnessed these events for the first time, it really stood out to me how drastic these events were and seeing people actually be victimized by the events and terrorism that happened in Kashmir really made me understand that this was a real thing that happened, not only just to like my ancestors but my mom. It happened as recent as 30 years ago. So it really called out to me. So you really like the movie? What, what, I loved what rating it. would it give you? Would you give? Do you? What kind, What rating would you give it? I, I give it the highest rating. I give it a 10 out of 10. I think it's a must see for everyone to be highlighted and educated, and also spread awareness not only through 
um, not only verbally but also through social media platforms because that's the way that everybody in every corner of the world can really grasp the concept of the cradle of civilization, of where we come from and where we return, we, and like where we intend to, to return to. Would you like to thank Pallavi Ji and Abhimokji? I thank you Pallavi Ji and Vivek Ji for bringing this movie and helping everybody understand the true history of the Kashmiri abundance. About the well, it was certainly very powerful and moving. I mean, I had no idea that that went on at all, uh, right? And it, it's just okay. another example of what um, religious, cultural battles and wars create. Um, I think the parallels to what's going on in the world today are rather frightening. It's just an example of history repeating itself from the terror. Uh, the vile acts, you know, in terms of war, uh, the brainwashing at universities, the twisting of history and culture to fit what exists. It just, it's like we're reliving it today. It's an example of what we're Have you ever heard about Kashmir, Kashmiri genocide? I have never, never had heard of it, ever, ever. And what I find fascinating is almost like culture has erased it, right, in terms of history, which is what we're hearing now with, you know, uh, So you believe history. what you're showing? Well, it's... Yeah, I mean, I can't, I, you can't unsee what I, what I just saw. Sure. No, before that, this was never shown even to the Indian. And, 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 I mean, knowing you and knowing where you grew up and where you came from and to know that the world doesn't even know this exists is pretty frightening. Would you like to say anything and what message you're going to take and how are you going to process it further? Or, um... Well, actually, I'm interested in looking up to see what literature says on it right now. I mean, I just that's oh, just the natural curiosity, there, so and I, I'm sure it's all I, on I, I hope you get the right, right links. I actually would love to sit down with you over tea and learn about your, your life growing up. I mean, obviously, you lived through this. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, first of all, uh, Mona, for gathering this entire group to watch this amazing movie. Uh, I heard a lot of comments there that, you know, how much can you really know in the three hours of a movie? Um, I think the directors, the producers, they've done a wonderful job. The message definitely came across. I think a lot of us know, being from India, what happened, how it happened, but to this depth, nobody knew. Uh, so thank you. It was really nice to Tell me what is Oh my gosh, this is so, so powerful and I never knew anything about Kashmir. Like the movie said, we had no idea that Kashmiris had gone through this suffering. And I'm just I'm just happy and thank you for opening up our eyes and a lot of questions in my head and I'm definitely gonna research further and I just wanna know what can we do now moving forward. What can the non Kashmiris do? I'm from the Fiji Islands, but I'm Gujarati, and what can we do to help your community? And I pray. Do you think that should have your expectations? Oh my gosh, more, more. I did not know anything when I came into the movies. And I'm leaving with so much knowledge about Kashmiris, and it just, I'm just, I'm just proud to have you as my friend, and thank you giving us this opportunity to see this movie, we had no idea it was this deep, this intense, it's an eye-opener and um, just raises so many thoughts, raises so many questions. I'm going to be doing a lot of research, I'm going to be asking you guys a lot more questions, but thank you for exposing us to this and just had some cool, uh, Do you think the movie uh, portrayed and you feel you have more information, uh, it was hidden from you from before, you, you didn't know? Yes, I mean, when this happened, we were in our teens, probably there was little news in the uh, papers, but I, we knew that Kashmiri pundits left Kashmir and after that the tourism stopped, but we didn't know much more beyond that. So this, this movie was, oh my god, it's, and I, I don't understand why it took 30 years for somebody to come with a movie like this. It's, so only this director made a bold, bold move it, and... It's, it's incredible what he has done. So you would give him a 5 star? 10 star. Thank you. How about you Shaiva, would you like to ask yeah, yeah, something? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much Sanju and Monica for inviting us to this. You know, we've known each other for so long and we've heard stories from you guys about this. Before we met you, we knew there were things happening in Kashmir. You know how bad it was. 
and having known you and talked to you for so many years, we know that there were this was bad. But when you see this movie, you realize how how much how intense it was, how bad things were. Pata hi nahi chale itna intense tha. So thank you for enlightening us. Thank you for inviting us. This is a very very intense portrayal of the you know, of the truth that we there was no exposure to us at all. So even though all this was in the news because it's a depiction of the reality have you ever seen all this in news or this is I have never seen this in this if in in this in, oh my god in this format to the point to the level that it is over here ever before this is the first time i'm watching it to this level of intensity so you like this movie oh five out god. of five how do you like the movie 15 the reena said 10 15 20 jo bhi it's really really amazing portrayal god bless thank you guys for making us a part of this What was your reaction to the movie? I'm mind boggled. I completely surprised that how this genocide happened, but this was completely hidden story that even living in India, we never knew about the story until this movie came out. So thanks to Vivek and Nodri to bring it out. It's it's a yeah, I feel like we were so much uh ignorant about this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And um what are your other thoughts on the Kashmir issue um as of right now? I feel like Kashmir is still the issue and because we have to raise the voice if people and this is the best thing you can do there education Kashmiri pandits have shown that they are really strong by their strength they are the one who are educated they the people who killed them who tried to they are the ones still with guns they have nothing but the kashmiri pandits are doctors they are engineers they are all over the world they are doing well so that's non violence is the way to go but education is the strength and that's what we need to do spread the word and how do you plan on continuing to spread the word in the future by spreading the word about this movie itself first and increasing the knowledge of people how this issues can be resolved by non violence by becoming more into politics young people going into and raising the voice because young people has to raise their voice